Hey, what's up guys? It's Mikhail, back here with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the new changes they made to the spawn of Sonic Speed Simulator and the brand new Vectors Investigation event. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please remember to leave a like and subscribe as it's free, easy, helps out a ton, and you can always change your mind later. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so this update was actually a pretty large update. I'm surprised how big it was. Anyways, so for the first thing you see once you come to spawn is that everything's been moved around. First, let's start with the racing. It has been moved from all the way over there where the Metal Sonic event is to right over here at spawn. We can see our racing tickets. We can see the racing start object. We can see our race quests and our limited time event, race jet event, which I don't think is a limited time considering how long it's been in the game. Next, we can see our main event of this update, which is the Vectors Investigation, which we'll be looking at a little bit later. Now we have our spin wheel, which hasn't changed in last week, but it's still cool. The Lost Valley portal, which used to be where the racing section was, has been moved over right here beside the spin wheel with Jet's time trials, the keys, the portal, and Shadow's event overview. And coming next, we have obviously our sale, our bundles, our normal sale, and our chow sales which this time is the Strawberry Scoop Chow. It also has the brand new stamina stat on it. Next, we have a Golden Tornado, and we have the Starter Pack right here at spawn. Next, we have something which I really love. It's the Event Hub. If you just started playing the game now, you're probably not sure the events in the game, but here we can complete them all. As you can see for the Resistance Rebound, instead of having to go all the way over to New York City just to check it, we can just come right here. This is all. The, these are all the events active in the game. The Release Shadow, Shadow's Revenge, the Race Metal, the Android Anomaly, and the Hologram Havoc. We also have our normal quests from Sonic here. We have a Golden Sonic Statue here update. And we have a big Tiki Tower right here. The Friends and Trails section has actually been moved over here as well. It just looks a lot better. And so now this area back here doesn't need to be taken up by the friends and trail section and yeah that's kind of it for spawn except the one last thing we have to show you is the world portals the boss battle has been moved over th over to the left side emerald hill or new york city and now we actually have an emerald hill boss battle hard mode which by the way you need to unlock new york city to play now, if we were to come over it, I'm just going to show you how crazy this boss battlefield is. And if you stay until the end, I will be playing this boss battlefield and you can see how well I do. You can straight up notice that it's been modified a lot. There's so many more platforms and it just feels like it's going to be so much more interactive. I imagine Dr. Eggman would have so much more health. And yeah, I think this would be a really cool boss battle to play with friends. So we'll do that at the end of the video. Our spin to win has been updated, and we now have gold style shadow here as well, which is pretty cool considering this is another one of the things that was cool to unlock, except the event went away. So it's nice that we can still unlock him, except through a spin wheel. Alright, now on to the main event of this update, which is Vector's Investigation. So looking at his quest, we have to find investigation clues. Now, this also leads off from the story from the previous update, and let's read what he says. Hey, bud, SPO told me I'd see you around here. I've been investigating who may have robbed him. Unfortunately, it doesn't pay. But this is about SPO, so I'll do anything to find the culprit. Want to help me out and find some clues? And if you're wondering, you can actually unlock the original SPO skin from this event right here, which is pretty cool if you're new to the game. We have what seems to be some DJ chows, a trail which has some music effect. We have SBO, obviously our brand new hoverboard, and Vector himself. Now the easiest way to complete this event is just to look around. This is very similar to the ninja weapons that we had to find last week's event for SBO, except they have a much larger spawn rate because we have to find multiple of them. Now another thing is these are in all three worlds, uh, not three out of the four worlds in Green Hill Zone, Emerald Hill Zone, and Lost Valley. Oh, and something I'm not sure why, except the holographic Metal Sonic is also right over here in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, that's something. Anyway, so I actually went and did a little bit of grinding beforehand, and you can see from like 10 minutes of gameplay, I got 20 investigation clues, and so it's pretty good. And I've only been in Green Hill the entire time. 
as you can see like we have one right here and another one these have the same shine effect that spo's weapons had so i think these are going to be really easy to find because they'll stand out a lot all right so the next thing we have to do is beat jet the hawk in a race three times now the easy way to do this is come over to the racing hub you're going to hope that you get the race metal city you're going to vote for it then and then hope jet the hawk joins your race as like the ai that you have to battle now you're just going to want to do this three times and like i said it does kind of depend on luck but it should be really easy and yeah i'll see you once that's done all right guys so this is my second attempt at getting the metal city race and i think we're gonna win this time considering there's two votes on metal city all right guys so this is metal city and i'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the race just in case you've never played now you do spawn in a hoverboard except you can actually change this if you switch characters as you can see if i change it what is my character's face right now that's a very weird face i promise you that's not what my face looks like all right so let's go let's just boost i'm not the greatest at the metal city race i used to i used to always get first in my races before the game was you know reborn it was a pretty cool race you could play it all the time and it was just really fun except i didn't really like the reborn version the boosting was really capped As you can see, I just beat Jet, and so if we come back to Vector, we can see our bar has updated. And so now we just have to get this to three victories, and then we can move on to the next quest. Alright guys, so we just finished the next quest, and don't ask me why I keep changing character, it's just personal preference. Anyways, if we come over to Vector, we can see that now we have to find 50 investigation clues. Come on, are you kidding me? It literally auto-joined me to a race. Every time I try to film a video, this happens. You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, so again, we have to find some investigation clues. So the same method as before applies. You're going to run about the map, find as many as you can. Once you flesh out the entire map, I would say just try once more, go everywhere you can. If you really can't find any, then you can head over to the next world. Then flesh out that world and just flesh out the worlds one by one. Let me just turn my auto join for races off. And now, yeah, let's head and find some. Alright guys, so I'm almost done with the next quest, and all we need is one more investigation clue before we are completing this quest. Now, let's just try and find it. Let's see, is it anywhere here? Is it on the right? Oh, right here, let's grab it. And, boom. Did that collect it? Yep. Vector's investigation, we have to destroy 400 badniks. Alright, now instantly, I feel like I'm going to go over to Emerald Hill, personally, because it just has the most bad nicks in, for me. Like, I always follow one path and I get so many bad nicks, so I'm going to head there. And yeah, I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay of me collecting some bad nicks, and I'll see you when I'm done. Alright guys, so I've actually switched over to New York City because I just think it'll be a lot easier to complete the quest here. Alright guys, so we just finished that quest too, and as you can see, if we come to Vector's, invest Vector's Investigation, you can see that we claimed it. Now, I've just realized I forgot to say the text, but anyways, before, for task 3, he said, got the new clues, perfect. Let's put our minds together for this one. Hmm, do you think it's weird all these different badniks are hanging around this desert, which at that point you need to go to Lost Valley and destroy, um, and, sorry, collect 50 investigation clues. After that, we have to collect 400 badniks by destroying them. He says, they didn't even have any weapons on them. All they do is take a beating. Eggman makes the easiest target sometimes. Welp, another dead end. But I swear, we were on the right track there. Now for task 5. 
It's, he says, I know the last two times were wrong, but I have a hunch that we're getting towards the true culprit. We just have to keep being the experts we are. Let's make one final push for clues. And now we have to collect 60 investigation clues, which I am going to head over to Emerald Hill for, because I feel like that would be the best place to go this time. Let's just head there. Alright guys, so for the next quest, we have to defeat Dr. Eggman one time. Now, I actually did record this footage, except it didn't quite save, so I have just a segment of the battle that I can show you. Anyways, yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I just completed the quest, and it was pretty fun. Obviously, it was my first time, so you probably saw I messed up quite a lot. Anyways, I switched over to the Vexter skin, and I came back to Green Hill. And his eyeline animation, as you can see right now, looks pretty cool. I've partnered him up with his special chow, his animated trail, which gives out music notes. And yeah, his hoverboard is also pretty cool, as you can see. If we switch over to the hard-boiled hoverboard, it's pretty nice. I just think his ho hoverboard animation is pretty bland. But hey, they did a good job on the skin. Sorry, they did a good job on the skin, so that's pretty fine. Let's check out his animation whilst he's on a rail. Now, this is going to make a lot of noise, so just turn down your volume now. And yeah, that was his animation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe as it's free, easy, helps out a ton, and you can always change mine later. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!